fangs that go bump in the night. What the? Jesus! Me, jerk. Shh, Sam B. Okay. Shrunken head, broken legs, body parts on the concrete. Cut them up, butcher style, gators in the swamp. Red light, leave them dead, running like a track meet. Scared of nobody. What you know who I am? Do you have any idea who you're talking to? Or maybe you saw me in the play outside. I played for the fucking goddamn champions. I got a zombie on me, and you can't harm me. Hey, watch it. Who do you bitch? Drink blood like a vampire without warning. Who do you voodoo, bitch? Stand up. Sam B got the thing that go bump in the night. Who do you voodoo, bitch? Hide your kids, grab your wife, better get out of sight. Who do you voodoo, bitch? Let's go. Sam B to Papa Sean go on Barrett Samedi. Handful of fingertips, toss them up like a fetty. Stay full of corpse bitches, I'm a pimp of the dead. Come fuck with a zombie, I'll put a stick in your head. Lux, you want ghouls like a fucking fool? Stupid kid. Maybe everybody dies, I'll see your ass real soon. Rack bones to the marrow, hot sauce, and they suck it. Now my juju ain't nothing to fuck. Sir, looks like you've had enough. What's your room number? I'll make sure you get there safe and sound. That go bump in the night. Hey, who do you who do, bitch? Hide your kids, grab your wife, better get out of sight. Who do you who do, bitch? Let's go. Excuse me, lady. Are you okay? Uh, can you hear me? What are you doing, sir? Cut this is the woman's restroom. I got a zombie on the sand. You can't hold me. Mm. Who do you who do, bitch? Yeah. Like a Excuse me, sir. Are, are you, are you okay? okay? Who do you who do, bitch? Arms over my bare hand. Who do you voodoo, bitch? Smack it, my man. Who do you voodoo, bitch? I said no. You heard what he said. Do you hear what's going on out there? You want what you saw here? I'm doing it. No! Did my oh, body tell you? Move. Now stop! Wait! Hey! Can you hear me? Do you understand what I'm saying? Nod your head! Nod your bloody head! I ain't asking you again. Oh, thank God. I'm a doctor, not a bloody executioner. All right. This is fucking crazy. On three. One, two, fuck it, three! That's the last one? Okay then. Thanks, mates. Are you there? Hello? Can you hear me? Shit. Hello? We 
you were just attacked. Listen, your friend from the hotel's awake. You were right about him being immune to this thing. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have made it. Maybe now we can hold out until help arrives. There is no help. This thing can't be stopped. I saw how it took my wife. You need to get out of there, and I can help you. I can arrange for transportation. By air, by sea, but first you need to get here. To me. I have many sick and injured here, mate. They're crazy with fear. Tell me where you are. Where are you? You there, mate? Hello? Hello? Oh, God damn it. One more thing. My daughter can't stay here. What? Soon I won't be in my right mind. I don't want to hurt her. We'll take her to the lifeguard. He can't protect her. Not like you can. I want you to take her. Uh, sorry, Bubba. No way. Hey! Is this what you need? Then give me what I need. What are you saying, Dad? I'm not going anywhere. No, honey, honey, listen to me. You have to, honey. There's nothing for you here now. I'm not leaving you. Look, look at me. Look at me. I love you. And this is how I want you to remember me. You promised me you'll take care of her. She'll come with us. Dad, no. Dad. You go on now. And don't you lose hope. Live your life. I love you.
that asshole just said the exact same thing those motherfuckers at the police station did. Things go to shit, and it's every fuckwit for himself. 300 families. The flushest motherfuckers in the city. It's just like Norman's. As long as they got theirs, who gives a shit if the ghetto burns? Man, they're just playing for their own team. And I think it's about time we did the same. What are you saying? I'm saying that we have to find that guy on the radio. And the lifeguard? We promised to help. Oh, fuck the lifeguard, man. If not for him, we wouldn't be stuck here like this. Make the call. Jen, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Were you able to get anything? We're calling it off. Come get us at the sewer exit. Wait, wait, what are you planning to do? Look, if we're gonna survive, we need to get the hell out of here. No one here is gonna help us. We're supposed to be the ones helping. We're the only ones who can. I couldn't help my father, but I can help the others. Jin, listen. The best way to help everyone is to find that guy from the radio. He's the only one who understands what's going on. We're only wasting our time here. I promised I would get those people food and medicine, and I will, with or without your help. We're staying with the plan, or I'm taking the car and you're on your own. You won't make it without us, doll. You know it's true. And if you leave us here without transportation, we're not gonna make it either. No one's going to make it if we don't help them. The girl is right. What do you want to do, Jin? It's up to you. I want to supply everyone. The resort, the church, the police station. The motherfuckers at the police station? Are you kidding me? We'll supply everyone but the police station. Those assholes can fend for themselves. Then we'll find the voice from the radio. Agreed? I'll be at the sewer exit. Over and out. One. Load it. We're covering you. God damn it. They're coming. Oh, shit. You've got company. Hurry up. What the hell is wrong with you? Get out. You two, go. I just tried to help. I tried. It's all right, love. We're getting you out of here. Christ, what did they do to you? I just, I just want to leave. I just want to go. Fuck her, man. Bitch sold us out. Hey, come on, man. We're a team, right? We stick together. That's exactly why she shouldn't come with us. We all could have died. She fucking lied to us. I'm not saying leave her here. Give her to the nun. If we could head to the hotel. She made a mistake. She was trying to do the right thing. Let's just take the supplies back to the resort and get her off the island. She doesn't belong here anyway. I'll go look for the goddamn car. And what if she make another mistake? I don't think she'll be making that one again. It's ten after. Where the fuck is he? One on four point eight. Respond. This is the hotel. Maybe we should try again in an hour. An hour? 104.8, are you there? Can you hear us? This is 104.8. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, hang tight, 104.8, because we're coming for you, buddy. That is, if the offer still stands. Of course. I'll call in a helicopter and we'll be evacuated to the nearest aircraft carrier. But first, you have to get here. 
We have wheels, we have gas, we'll get there. Wheels won't cut it. Well, why not? Where the hell are you? You see the ocean? That island on the horizon? If you had a high-powered telescope, you'd see me waving to you. That's where the prison is. Who the fuck are you? A convict? Speak! My name is Ryder White. I'm a colonel with the BIDF. Banoi Island Defence Force. I came to the prison to get my wife. A doctor, Emily White. Can we speak with her? What's that? Come again? We want to speak to I her. I told you, she's badly hurt. Beaten by one of the infected. She was trying to help him. Heal him. I only know all this because of her. Listen. You try to soften us up by making us feel sorry for your wife and then promise us a way off this goddamn island, all from a fucking prison? Of course we're gonna be suspicious. How do you think I found you at the hotel? I'm a BDIF colonel, not some thug in a cell. So why don't you call your own people? Contact the fleet. Do you hear how bad the reception is? A bloody monsoon's coming. The fleet is 80 miles offshore in the middle of the storm. The satellite's down. We're cut off. Any more questions? He's telling the truth. And how would you know? She's not just a hotel desk clerk, right? Time's running out. You coming or what? I guess we don't have a choice. But first we need to find a goddamn boat. There's no point. This is for nine. The prison is surrounded by a minefield. You have to find a guide through to the bunkers inland to Mengindi and find a smuggler called Moen. He knows the way. Bunkers? Japanese bunkers from the war. They're mostly destroyed, so you should have no problem entering. They will lead you inland. All right, White. We're taking you at your word. If this is some kind of con, I will personally take you off at the head. Trust me. It's us against them. We'll be in touch. If it's at least a chance that he's telling the truth, we should check it out. You out your mind? We're supposed to get the fuck off this island, not hike deep into the goddamn jungle. We need Moen for that. Trust me, he's the only one who can get you past those floating mines. Do what he wants, and he'll do what you want. Get him to the bloody lab. This isn't only about what Moen wants, is it, White? You're pushing us there for another reason. Don't you understand? Each one of you has had contact with these things, and none of you have gotten sick. Your blood could be used to make some sort of antidote to save my wife. She's still alive? They gave us something, some medicine. I don't know what it is. It slows down the process, but not forever. The doctors in the lab could use the antibodies in your blood to create some sort of cure. It may be Emily's only chance. What the fuck? Well, what do we do? We do what's right. We do the right thing. Pona, you are a police officer. You protected those who couldn't protect themselves. This is your path. Jin, you are more full of compassion than any of us. You know what it's like to lose someone you love. What do you want to do? I don't fucking care. Well, I do. Time to step up, Logan. You in the game, or warming the bench? Sam B? Yeah, I hear you. We a crew. We hang together, or we fuck. All right, then. Let's do this.
You see any mummies? No! What the hell? Very bad spirits. Stay away. Did you see that man? That was fucking voodoo. Not a living dead shit. I don't see any bite marks. If she didn't eat those stiffs, then she's probably fine. And what if she ain't fine? Maybe you should ask her, huh? Hey, show it. You have some zombie for lunch? She's saying something. I had to. Everyone had to. They believe if they'd eat, they would live forever. We have to take her with us. First, we need to find them damn mummies. Shit. Over here! Now what? Get the hell out of here! Locked all the doors I could. Not very many, unfortunately. I don't have access to much of the security grid since it's on emergency power. We're running on res power, and I don't know how long. If we lose cont, look for me and block. And for the love of God, if you cut the prisoners, don't bloody trust them. I'm responsible for a lot of them being here. So if you bring them to me, they'll kill me, and then you. Fuck oh, look at a fine ass on that one. Stay back. Oh, well, she is she fine as hell. Probably infected. What now? How did you all get here? Are you infected? Don't you recognize me, bro? Maybe I do, maybe no. You recognize these? Nice, brother. But what I really need is a couple of those, right? We got weapons way better than guns. These people are immune, man. They get bit, they don't get infected. Maybe you could help each other out. Ow. We want to get to Block C. You heard what the lady said. We want to get to Block C. Dwight? He talked with us too, brother. But somehow, we couldn't help each other. 
nothing to trade. You, on the other hand, maybe we can make a deal. Hey, get up. Wake up. This ain't no time to be taking a damn nap. What happened? The fuck aghast us. I heard you talking to White. I'm the one who helped you open the locks. We gotta get the hell out of here. Like, now. And how do we do that? Since Colonel Trust Me just fucked us. You had something he wanted. He came in here and took it right off you like he knew just where to find it. The vaccine. Oh, what the hell? Well, that's just great. Told you we couldn't trust it. We gotta move. Come on. There's a chopper on the roof. It's waiting for White. And if that asshole reaches it before we do, he's flying the fuck out of here and calling in the bombers. Thermonuclear annihilation. The whole goddamn island. We gotta catch him while we still have a chance. What chance is that? White's headed to the hospital. He's picking up his wife to take her to the chopper. Being she's out of her goddamn mind, that'll take some time. He's going through the left wing. Not so many infected, but that's the long way. So what's the short way? Take the elevator to the top, which takes you straight to the other wing of the hospital. It's riskier, but we can reach the roof faster. Only the badasses should take the elevator. Me and the rest will take the safer way and meet you at the top. Shake a leg for fuck's sake. What are you trying to do, Connell? I don't have to explain myself to you. Look, your wife is gone. Look at her. She ain't coming back. But you can still save Take us. Take one more step and you're dead. I have the cure, all right? The doctors in Sydney will make more. We'll send helicopters. We'll save everyone. With a nuclear bomb? Kevin told us the plan. You're going to kill everyone. Maybe I should start with you. I have no choice here, right? This virus threatens the entire bloody world. Benotti is lost either way. It's easy to kill millions of faceless nobodies, isn't it? Stay back! They hardly seem human! Stop! But killing someone you love? It's not so easy, is it? Ah! Son of a bitch! Shit. He was right about one thing. Benoy is lost. If not him, then someone else will soon send a nuke with our name on it. The quicker we leave, the better. According to officials, Benoit is still under quarantine. The sought-after vacation destination, popular with celebrities and wealthy tourists alike, was ironically originally a penal colony and still houses one of the strictest maximum security prisons in the world. It is home to many dangerous criminals and terrorists, including Karen, the infamous hacker for hire who has worked for everyone from Al-Qaeda to the Yakuza. Meanwhile, news of the lethal virus on the island has caused a worldwide panic. Some have claimed that the virus is only the first wave of a massive international terrorist attack and that the intentions are global. Bernard Green, spokesman for the Australian Defence Force, denies the claims. There is no basis for these ridiculous rumours. 
The entire island is under military quarantine, and the maximum security prison is completely secure. The hacker known as Karen, and every other terrorist in prison there, isn't going anywhere. Humanitarian aid is on its way, and you can be sure that the virus, or whatever it is, will not leave the island. The whole world anxiously watches what is happening in Benoit. For the moment, all flights in and out have been cancelled. Oh, shit, man, I can't believe we made it. At this point, I'll be goddamn glad to have all my old problems back. As long as the world is the way it used to be. It's not, and never will be. Trust me.